Hey guys, it's Alex with Greenstream Media. Today I want to show you how you can create your own icon uh, web font set from icofont.com to use directly in Divi using the uh, Divi Uploads Icon plugin. So right now we're just right here on icofont. I'm going to go ahead and click on icons. And I've got this food icons um, already selected, but you can do whatever you want. You can build out your collection however you want, your own custom icon set using any of these other um, categories that they have. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit add to collection for our demonstration here. And I'm going to take a look at our collection. And you can see that we've got 98 icons here. They're already selected. I'm going to just click download. So once you have your collection built, you're going to want to go ahead and download them. And it's going to give you a zip file. And by default, the zip file is just going to be called icofont.zip. That's the name of the website here, icofont. Um, so when we open it, you'll notice that also all of our font files are called icofont as is our CSS file and so we're gonna to wanna to rename these that way if we get another uh, if we build out another icon set from icofont and wanna use it on the same website if they have the same name if they're all just called icofont it'll overwrite previous ones that we uploaded and that's not what we want so to keep everything separate and to make it easier to find it in the filters and the search functions we're gonna to wanna to rename these um, we don't need this minified CSS so we can go ahead and get rid of that these are only the only files that we need here and since they're food icons, I'm just going to go ahead and name all of these uh, font files as well as our CSS file. I'm just going to call it food. And that will keep it as a uh, unique font set within Divi here. So now that we have this, oh, and our CSS file needs to also be renamed food. Again, these all need to have identical names. We'll go ahead over to our Divi Uploads icons, and you'll see that I already have an icon set uploaded called um, the Feather icon set that's given me 266 icons. So all we need to do is grab these, just our font files and our CSS file, and drag them over to Upload, and you'll see them start uploading here. And once it's done uploading, that icon will go away. That icon, that paintbrush icon is just saying the CSS file isn't uploaded yet, so we just have to wait for it to upload all the files and then the CSS and then you'll notice that icon's gone away. So we're good, to, we're good to go now. And we've got 364 additional icons. So here in the, um, the new backend builder, let me go ahead and just refresh it and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Once the backend builder loads here, There we go. All right, so let's open up one of these blurb modules so we can take a look at our icons. <clears throat> and I've got a couple plugins in development on this website, so it might take a little longer. All right, image and icons, here we go. So you'll notice we've got our elegant themes icons here. And if I scroll down, we'll see my feather icons that I had already previously uploaded. I like this icon set a lot. And if we keep going, we'll find our food icons that we literally just uploaded. Here they are. So we've got our bell pepper, avocado um, that we can choose from. And if we go over to the front end, let me reload this page. On the, actually, let me go to uh, enable the visual builder. And we'll see how it looks in the visual builder as well. So we've got our icons. Let me come down here to the blurb. Um, image and icon. Here's our elegant themes. Here's our feather icons. And of course, our new food icons are here. And so we click. We've got our avocado, our bell pepper, beer, whatever. And actually, if you scroll down, you'll notice in our filter icon set, we now have our, our food option here where we can just see only our food ones that we just uploaded or just our feather icons or elegant themes or all. So. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. The big thing again is just to make sure these all share the same name. That's the most important thing. All your font files and your CSS file needs to share an identical name so that the website knows or the plugin knows which web files to associate with which CSS file. So that's all there is to it. Uh, if you guys come across any other um, font libraries or icon sets and you're not quite sure how to integrate them with Divi Upload icons, uh, shoot me a message. I'll make a video about it just to help you and help other people too. So, all right, cool. Thanks, guys.